why does God want us to prosper the first reason why God blesses us in this kingdom is that he desires for us to live a comfortable life the second reason why God blesses us in the kingdom is so that we can help provide financial resources for kingdom advance. The third reason why God blesses us in this kingdom is so that we can reveal the love and the compassion of Jesus to a dying world in a practical and a definite way. So you see that number one has to do with you. Number two has to do with the church. Number three has to do with the world. There are four realms of living, economically speaking. The first realm is called survival. It's a dangerous realm to be in. The second realm is called comfort. The third realm is called luxury. The last realm is called extravagance. The lowest realm and that highest realm is not for you. We are not called to a life of survival and we are not called to a life of extravagance. These two realms are dangerous. If you find yourself in a realm of survival, fight it like you fight Satan. When you find yourself in a realm of extravagance, you are losing the consciousness of your stewardship. The allowance for the believer is the realm of comfort and at best, Lord's me. From a standpoint of assignment, the first assignment of money in your life is to help you redeem time. Money is a powerful mechanism for time redemption. Number two, money is a mechanism for efficiency. This is really the assignment of money to you. Time redemption and efficiency. There are three foundational truths that you must have at the back of your mind even before we begin to discuss the principles of the kingdom. Number one, never forget this as far as your journey to attaining kingdom wealth is concerned all blessings come from god and belong to god this is the first foundational understanding every believer must have that means in this kingdom owners are rebels we do not own things we are stewards the second foundational rule for understanding kingdom wealth that all blessings come from god through men to men it does not come from God to men. It comes from God through men to men. When it has to do with the laws of the kingdom, there are therefore two dimensions to it. There are the spiritual laws that govern wealth and abundance. Non-negotiable. In order of priority, they come first. But there are also physical laws of wealth and abundance. There are five levels of prosperity. In this kingdom, when, it, when you say you have prospered, it has to be five over five. Number one, spiritual prosperity. The second level of prosperity is called mental prosperity. The third level of prosperity is called bodily prosperity. That means your health and your well-being. Number four, financial prosperity. Are you saying that there are four levels now? Spiritual prosperity, mental prosperity, bodily prosperity, your health and well-being, and then financial prosperity. The last dimension of prosperity is called relational prosperity. The first spiritual law of wealth and abundance, write it down, is called the law of absolute surrender. If God does not have your heart, believe me, you are not ready to prosper God's way. When your heart belongs to him, he can now trust you with anything and not be afraid. Number two is the law of the tithe. Tithe is a tenth portion. According to scripture, the tithe was supposed to be a mechanism to cater for priesthood and to cater for the building of the Lord's house. Tithe is not about money. It is called the law of open heavens. And then number three is called the law of giving. If you do not engage the law of giving and receiving, there is a limit. In fact, you may not be able to rise to certain realms. There are three principal ways that God answers to you as touching your obedience to spiritual laws. The first return channel, favor. What is favor? Men willing to participate in your success. Number two is wisdom. 
wisdom has five dimensions but two of them are most important when it has to do with wealth divine direction and divine strategies these are the dimension of wisdom required for wealth the third key is the blessing what the bible calls the blessing the activation of the blessing in your life the blessing is a very powerful spiritual quality that functions like a magnet it has an assignment of attracting to your life people opportunities and resources the spiritual laws of wealth and abundance are responsible for the arrival of financial resources in your life then the physical laws of wealth and abundance are responsible for the management and the multiplication of financial resources one man coming as sent by god can hold your hands and you can climb a ladder that took people 10 years literally in one day the power to get wealth